Are you ever concerned with your surroundings in and outside your RV? Have you ever been a victim of theft when you're RVing? Have you ever been away from your RV, you come back, it's damaged, and you have no idea what happened? A lot of RVers, including us, have pets. Are you ever concerned with their safety when you're not there? Hey guys, it's MJ from Endless RVing, the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below, hit the notification bell, and if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. So this is gonna be a follow-up from a previous video we did called Straight Talk From A Cop. We are gonna link that above. In that video, we talked about having cameras. Now we have cameras on our motorhome. We have actually quite a few cameras and they are wired in to our one monitor inside of the motorhome. So why are cameras important? So those of you who are new to the channel, I have been in law enforcement for 21 years and I can't even count the amount of times that cameras have been used to solve crimes. So why do we recommend having cameras? Several reasons. Now we have cameras on our sticks and bricks. We have them everywhere outside inside first floor second floor everywhere because i really truly believe that it accomplishes a few things first it is a deterrent for theft from experience when cameras are put up it gives a potential criminal a thief maybe a pause a second thought maybe i shouldn't steal from here because i might be on camera second thing if a theft does occur because remember a video camera will not prevent a theft, just might deter it. But if it does occur, it gives uh, evidentiary value. That video evidence can also help if something happens to your RV, like MJ stated earlier, and this has happened, we know people this has happened too. You come back to your RV, all of a sudden there's a window broken, there's a dent in it, there were landscaping, a rock went into your bay door and you don't know how it happened. If you have cameras, cameras may have captured what caused that damage. We actually have a good friend, another YouTube channel, William from Camper Life, and we're gonna post his video up here when he actually had one of his windows and his new mar damaged by a campground. Now, if you have a camera system that's set up to a network, it's gonna allow you to remote into that system and many times you're gonna be able to view all your cameras from simply your phone. By having this ability, you can now monitor inside and outside your RV when you're not there. So you may be asking yourself, Izzy, where are you going with this? In this video, we are gonna be reviewing the Rio Link camera systems. Rio Link was kind enough to send us a four camera wireless setup. The setup includes four wireless cameras, as well as four solar panels that are gonna allow that camera to be charged. So in this video, we are gonna do an unboxing of the real link cameras. We are gonna go over the specs, how to set them up, and finally, how we are gonna install them and how they perform. And make sure to stay to the end because we're gonna tell you what our feedback is and how affordable these cameras really are. Okay, so I said earlier, got four sets of what we're about to show you, and it's exactly what it is here. So we got the one Argus 2 camera, the Real Link Argus 2. It's a wireless camera, 1080p, as far as the specs go. 100% wireless, 1080p, it's IP65 waterproof. It also has a smart sensor, motion sensor. These things, they don't record all the time. What they do is they record on motion. What's nice about these is that they're completely wireless and when you set it up to your network, you can also set up a cloud service through a real link. That is a paid service, but also on these, you can put an onboard micro SD card, which will capture all of the activity onto the micro SD card. Through the app, the real link app, you can then go back and see any activity if it's on the micro SD card or if it's on the Rio Link cloud service. Okay, the next two things they sent us is gonna be the Rio Link solar panel. Now this is going to go mounted on our roof along with the camera. And what this is gonna do, this is not meant to top off your camera. What it's meant to do is keep it steady. So if you have a cloudy day or a sunny day, as long as there's some kind of daylight, it will charge it enough so that Rio Link camera doesn't drain the battery. It'll kind of keep it status quo. 
Finally, they sent us some black skins. These come in black or in camo. By stock in the box, it comes with a white skin. I requested a black one since we have a black motorhome. So we're gonna unbox everything. One thing I failed to mention is this does have the IR light. So when it's low light, the IR lights will go on. You'll have a black and white image of whatever it picks up. So let's unbox this. You're gonna have your instruction manual. And then in the manual, you have uh, your quick start guide, you have your mounting templates, as well as 24 hour surveillance. Again, a deterrent. This is the meat and potatoes here, okay? You're gonna have your camera. What's really nice, they give you two types of mounting options. You have one that's a straight magnetic. Now you can screw this in if you're doing a home application or if you wanna screw into your motorhome, you could do that. You could also, we're gonna do two-sided tape with die core. We've done that before and it works really well, but this is a really strong magnet and I'm confident that when we're going down the road, this is not gonna move because this is taking some effort to pull it out. You're gonna have your battery, lithium ion rechargeable battery, and then here's the port on the back of the battery. This is where you're gonna recharge it, also where you're gonna plug in the solar panel. Finally, here's the stock skin that it comes with, and it also comes with your more permanent bracket. And then it comes with a strap if you wanna put it onto a tree. We're not gonna be using that right now. Let's move on to the solar panel. Moving on to the solar panel, it's gonna come with your quick start guide. It's pretty basic. It's a flat solar panel here. Don't ask me what the watts are and the voltage. I don't really, well, I'm sorry, 3.2 watts. The max current is 530 milliamps. Again, it's gonna plug into the back of the camera with your micro USB port. And then you also have a mount here if you wanna use it. Again, more for home application, but you can screw this mount in and then angle the panel however you want. We're gonna flat mount it. And finally, the skin which again, I requested, and it's just a silicone skin. It also is gonna come with a mount that's black, so you can match the skin, the screws, and it also comes with a black strap. If you wanna strap this onto a tree somewhere, you can do that. But all we're gonna be using is the skin portion. All right, so let's set everything up here. Very simple. So we got four cameras. I already set up three. We've been using them for about a week. They work great. I'm just gonna do number four for you, okay? So what you're gonna do is you take the camera, put the battery on the back, slides in. Immediately once you do that, you're gonna start, it's gonna start talking to you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the Real Link app. I've already downloaded the app. Please run Real Link app. It's gonna keep repeating this until you do it. Okay, on the Real Link app, you are gonna go add a device. Now it's gonna ask you to scan the QR code. There's a QR code on the back of this, so I'm simply gonna scan it. So it's been added. Now I'm gonna go on to my Wi-Fi. We're gonna do a Wi-Fi uh, configuration. So again, you're gonna need a network for these things to work. So I will enter my Wi-Fi password. Okay, once I enter the Wi-Fi password, I'm then gonna peel the plastic off here and I'm going to scan my screen with the camera. Add the camera and set it up. Scan succeeded. Camera is connecting to your router. All right, so it's scanned, it got it. Connection to the router succeeded. It's gonna tell you connection to your router succeeded. You are gonna hit on the app, succeed, and then next. It's gonna ask you if you've heard the prompt. Yes, you have. Gonna connect the router to the camera, to your app. And then it's gonna do a quick installation, any firmware upgrades. While I am doing this, I'm gonna pop in my micro SD card because it's gonna ask you to format the micro SD card. Now, to do the micro SD card, there is a side slot right here. You're gonna slide that open, all right? And then you're gonna need a little tool to get this thing in. I simply use some uh, dental tools, pop it in. All right, that is in. Then on the app, it's gonna ask you to create a login and a password, which I'm gonna do. Once you enter your password, it's gonna ask you to name your device. So I'm gonna name this one rear driver side because that's where it's going. Then you're gonna hit next. Initialization is done. And it's gonna say use now. And now it should be showing up on my app and there it is. I am Mr. Happy, my face is here. Now, like I told you earlier, this is not going to run all the time, but you do have the option to go into live mode at any time. So if I go into the app, I can hit live mode and then I'll have a live picture. Keep in mind, if you run it in live mode, it's gonna drain your battery. These are designed only to work on motion, but right now you can see it is working 
and we are good to go. So this is how we're gonna mount this onto our roof. We're gonna use VHB, very high bond tape. This is 30 pound strength it has. I'm just gonna run a strip on the bottom, two sided tape, one strip. Then we're gonna place it on the roof. We're gonna die core all around and this, this ain't gonna come up, okay? So that is where this is gonna mount. As far as the solar panel, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do strips of VHB all around. We're gonna run the wire here with a strip of VHB. We're gonna put it down and then we're gonna die core all the way around, run the cabling to the camera and it should work just fine. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna mount with the two-sided tape right to the corner here. And what that's gonna allow me to do is that once I put this camera on, I can kind of turn it however I want. It may be getting a little bit of the ladder, but what I want is to shoot out to the back. I have three other cameras also, and I also have a rear view camera that's gonna kind of shoot down. So I'm really gonna be focusing out this way so the camera's really not gonna be too much into play. So simply gonna take the mount with the two-sided tape, I'm gonna put it right on the corner here, push it down, and right there it's steady, but I'm gonna give it a little insurance. It's pretty strong there. So the insurance is gonna be some die core. Once this stuff dries, it, it becomes uh, pretty good. It's gonna hold everything on there. So this is self-leveling die core. And I'm just gonna put a nice bead going around. This will be waterproof in about five minutes, usually about seven days. It's pretty good, 30 days, it's fully bonded. And that's uh, when it's no longer soft anymore, it's really gonna uh, hold. So I'll put some there, I'll put a little dot in the middle here. You don't have to do it perfect because it's gonna level itself out. Now we're gonna move on to the solar panel. Again, you could put it on the mount and angle it. You could drill down into your roof if you want to. I don't wanna do that. We're doing the two-sided tape. We're gonna go flat right on the roof and just press down for a couple of seconds. It's gonna stick there. Now you can see the cable here. I've run some cable ties. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a cable management right here, put that down, and then it's gonna connect right to the back of the camera. And I can pull a little bit more. If I need a more slack, I could run it right there. So for my cable management, I'm gonna just use these little cable management loops. They have 3M tape on the bottom. Basically you put the cable right in here, you run the loop through, stick it down, and I'm gonna die core everything over it. So the rear passenger side, I actually did about two days ago. It's starting to dry up nice. The die core is still a little soft, but not a big deal. But this is on here solid. I don't, I'm pretty confident this is not gonna come off. I know the mounts won't, the camera, we'll see, but I'm pretty confident that it's not gonna fly off in the wind. And if it does, then it does. That's pretty much it, guys. Pretty easy install. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside and then we're gonna show you exactly what you're gonna see on your app when you get an alert and if you wanna go live. All right, we are inside and now we're gonna show you how some quick functions on the Reolink app, how you can monitor these cameras. So you're gonna go into the Reolink app and there's a couple important things in there that we think are of use that we're gonna to bring to you on this video. So on there, under the settings tab, you can actually see the battery life. So we're gonna be at 100% because like I said, we charged those cameras before and then the solar panel will just kind of keep them topped off. You're gonna see the network you're connected to. You're also gonna see, it's gonna show the display. You can do one camera. We have four cameras, so you can display up to four cameras. I'm not sure if you do more than four, if it will display that, but right now you could see either one or four at the same time. You could also take a snapshot or a video at any time. So if you hit that record button on the video camera, it'll start recording automatically. Ours is going to the micro SD card. You could also take a snapshot. snapshot. You can use the talk over. So there's a microphone button. If you hit that button, there's actually a little speaker in the camera and allow you to speak to somebody. There is a siren function in there that will let the siren go off. You also have the ability to use, to change the resolution. So you can have a high resolution stream, which would be 1080p, or a lower resolution, which will reduce bandwidth. So if you don't have a good connection 
or you have a limited bandwidth, you go into the lower resolution and you can still monitor things, but they won't be as clear as in the 1080p. So those are some basic functions. There's many other functions in this camera. We're not gonna go over all of them, but we just brought to you what we thought was the most important. So we are gonna put the links to all the Reolink uh, camera equipment down below. Also in the comments below, do you have some kind of video surveillance system on your RV, whether it's on the outside or the inside? Put in the comments below, what do you have, why do you have it, and do you like it? And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the road.